Warning, the following video has not been approved by the Comic Code Authority, and is intended for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Comic Assassin. Today, we're having, it's Friday. First off, it's Friday. Hope all of y'all had a great week. Hope y'all have some good stuff coming up this weekend. But for now, I'm going to be doing a quick comic book review on two different books. And it's kind of different because we're actually going to be doing two books that are written by the same author. Now, when I did my picks for my Monday video, I knew that this guy was going to be on my list multiple times. But he actually came up three times. And we're talking about Colin Bunn. Alright, so I'm not reviewing this book, but the Colin Bunn, Colt Mamba... A Mambo number four came out. I'm digging it. I've done reviews on this book. I love it. But we are actually going to be discussing two different books that he came out this week. And that is Knight's Temporal, which was done with Aftershock. And Manor Black, which is through Dark Horse Comics. Alright, so both number one books. There will be minor spoilers. But I just want to give you my take on these books, what I what I thought about them, their grade, and yeah. Then you let me know what you think if you picked these books up. You know what you what you thought if you read them. So I'm gonna start with Knights Temporal. Um, I will say first off, I was impressed with the cover. The cover art's good. The quality of the cover is good. All right, so very good quality paper and everything else but then you get into the story so the story is basically all right, how do we start here this book flip-flops a lot okay but basically there's the the main character I think his name is uh, August or August however you want to pronounce it they're chasing after a sorcerer and they go into these ancient woods and then all of a sudden it just flips over to a more modernized time so it starts off kind of more more medievalish times and then you're in modern times and he's chasing after somebody in modern times all right and there's some more foot flapping back and then it shows how August is going through this forest and he comes across this lady which her name is Jane Fool I don't know if you can see her there Alright, but she's definitely a main player in the book. Alright, and she's like, oh, I've been waiting on you. And he's like, you don't even know my name. And she's like, a name's not important. I've been waiting on you. Type of thing. And she's like, I'm going to show you the way. So they're in this, these woods that are supposedly cursed and no man should ever venture into. And she brings them to this other realm outside the woods. And it's all like, all psychedelic, all crystally. Which kind of leads you back to the main cover a little bit. And she's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna lead you the way. I know what you're looking for. You're looking for revenge. I know you're looking for this uh this this sorcerer. And then back to modern day. And from here on out it is more modern day depiction going on. So basically, in modern day, he's chasing after this this person who he thinks will lead him to the sorcerer. But the whole, the bigger point of the story is there's this, this guy right here. And this guy just is like, oh my god, I can't believe it. It's him. It's him. And there's some more backstory where he's like, you know, back 50 years ago, I remember seeing this guy. He saved my life. And, anyway, there's this big battle. Um, it's a, actually a really short read. So, yeah. So that was the story, and then this part is all the ads. I don't know if you can see that, but... I mean, there's several pages of ads at the end of it. I don't want that in my book. But anyway, what's, what's interesting is... August does defeat his enemy at the end, and it's still leading him on the hunt for the sorcerer. That's where the storyline is going. 
But the whole time, the guy who was like, I recognized him 50 years ago, he's like, oh my god, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. And then the chick that he met in the forest, that is his new companion, she's like, oh, I was too late. But at the same time, she's the one that killed the dude. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm giving this book, and I hate to do it, like, Colin Bunn has usually done some great work. I like the quality of the paper. I like the artwork. I have to give this a C. Alright, now whether C plus, C minus, I'm still on the fence. The only reason why I would pick this book up again is because the whole, at the very end, there's a twist. Alright, with the chick, like, she, she kills that dude for a reason. Okay? Other than that, I thought it was a really, just kind of a crappy writing job. Like, at first it really seemed like Lord of the Rings, like you're going to, like, the, the evil woods. And... It just, and then all of a sudden you're like in the future. Like, I don't like that back in the day and all of a sudden you're in the future type thing. Like, it just doesn't appeal to me. So yeah, this, honestly, I, I would not recommend this book to anybody. But then again, you know, you never know. It might end up being a good series. But I've said it before, you have to hook me with issue number one. If you don't hook me with issue number one, why well, am I gonna come back for number two? You know, especially like, you know, that that's four dollars right there. And it's like, I can spend my four dollars out somewhere else. So yeah, I'm giving it a C, and the only reason why I would put pick that book back up is just to see what happens, because you know there is something going on, but they did a bad job of ex they just did a bad job. Alright, I was not a fan of that book. Alright. But I think that Colin Bunn does redeem himself a little bit with the next book, which is Manor Black. Alright. So, and this is kind of a flip-flop. I wish that the artwork that was in that book was in this book, because one of my major complaints with this book was the artwork, which I'll show you a little bit about. But Manor Black, basically it starts off with there is a group of people who are running from some type of entity, some type of force. But apparently they didn't run fast enough because they come across this. From, I'm assuming it is the, 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 the character that's depicted on the cover there. And they crash. Alright, and they crash and they have a fiery death. Okay? But then it flip-flops to this guy who apparently, he has this mansion. Um, he either has kids or followers. It's not really clear of what they are now, but basically he is going and he is collecting all this blood. And that's a, that's a shitload of blood, y'all. <laughs> right? That's like blood in an hourglass. But he's going to the crypts and he's talking to the dead. And they're talking about him having to name a uh, um, a descendant. So someone who is going to take over his job. Which makes you know that this guy has a... He has a task. His, his task is coming to an end. He has to name a successor to this task. But, you know, there's some other things. Like there's just some depictions of... You know, him talking to dead people. And, like I said, the artwork wasn't terrible. It's just not my style of artwork. But anyway, the sheriffs, the sheriffs and the cops, they come to that crash. They're investigating it. And they, they can already tell that, hey, this isn't natural because nothing would burn like this. So it's like burn very symmetrical. Um... It didn't, you know, it's like all in a complete circle. So they, the, the cops are already like, something weird is going on here. So there's some family issues that are going on. Um, but basically, the, the cop who's investigating the, the wreck comes back. He's like, you know, this has been such a long night. But I'm not going to sleep because I've, I've seen all these different, like, horrors. I've seen charred bodies. 
how can you go to sleep with that? And he just goes in and, and combusts. Like, boom. He combusts completely in the jail, and that's kind of weird. All right. So apparently it looks like one of the people who was in the van actually escaped. And so she's fleeing, and then all of a sudden there's this other group, which this is what I kind of like. So there's this other group, and they're doing this magic, and like there's no use running. We got you. But apparently this happens on the guy who has the mansion's land, the guy that has like the, the lineage and stuff going on. And he's like, you will not harm this person on my land. And he saves her. Right? So, but they're like, you know, you don't know who you're messing with, but you're about to find out. And that's kind of how it ends. I'm giving this one a B. Probably a B minus. I really enjoyed the read. Honestly, between the two, between Knight's Temporal or Manor Black... I like this story better. I like the artwork better in here. I like the story better in this one. Okay, so, you know, I mean, to each their own. I do these videos because, you know, if you're going out there and you're spending your hard earned money on something, sometimes you might want to know a little bit more before you spend it. And, uh, like, I'll definitely, be, I'll definitely be picking up the second one of this one. For, for Knight's Temporal. I, I, that's probably going to be one that I might flip through a little bit at the, the local comic shop before I pick it up. Because, yeah, I, I really was impressed with the quality of the cover. I mean, I really like when a comic book has paper that you don't feel like you have to wear gloves just to read. You know, like, you can flip through it and you know it's going to be in decent shape. But the story just did not really do it for me. So yeah, two different Colin Bun books this week. Hopefully, that might help some of y'all with making a decision if y'all want to pick up this book, if you haven't already. And if you have already picked up these books and you've read them, I would love to know what you thought about them. Or if you chose not to pick them up, let me know why you didn't pick them up. But with that said, I'm trying to do this once again. I always have a limited amount of time. This is my one time to do a video, so I wanted to get it done. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to leave a comment, go for it. But and with that being said, I'll talk to you on Monday when I'm doing some more comic book news, what came out last week, what's coming this this upcoming week, and we'll talk more. All right. Until then, happy hunting.